I don't like to say that it's art that you would put in a gallery. It's more that it's just an experience that's edible. I'm Mayan Zilberman, and we're at my shop, Sweet Saba, in New York City. I had been a lingerie designer for many years, and more recently, a candy maker. I like to think of it as a candy company for adults. There's an element of nostalgia in a lot of the candy, and I think that that appeals more to adults or people who are my age. The thought is that if, if you take these things that are lost or that are meaningful to you, and you eat them, they become part of you, and it, it somehow makes your memory all one, and you don't have to hold on to these items anymore. I'm making a lot of lipsticks, and I'm making sets of keys. I also make more adult toys that uh, you might use in the bedroom, but they're made out of candy. That one tastes like bubble gum. You can order a cassette tape for me and you can dedicate it to whoever you want and I will fashion it after an old tape that you have or I can write a dedication on the tape to whoever you'd like. I have uh, Rolexes and Patek Philippe's. I have all different kinds of high-end watches that taste like different flavors. I had during the holidays I did a round of whiskey that was really nice. It was warming. I've made replicas of people's diamond rings for their engagement parties. I'm about to do another engagement party where I'm making replicas of their wedding bands. I'm also in the process of working with some fashion brands on making replicas of their seasonal jewelry. I did make a candy retainer because I thought it would be really cool to have a piece of candy lodged into your mouth all day. All of the candies are made from real objects. It's really important for me to make molds from the real thing and not for them to change in scale or to be made from a replica of something. Uh, I actually learned how to make the molds from a dentist. Uh, we've made some really fun flavors. Uh, we have a champagne flavor. We have a mother's milk flavor that's really just like a sweet cream. We made a flavor called Hawaii that is coconut and pineapple, and it has a shot of melatonin in it, so it actually helps you sleep. YouTube was, was the way that I learned how to make everything that I do. I learned three minutes at a time how to do exactly what I'm trying to do. Instagram has been really helpful because it reaches all different kinds of people and people happen upon it because if you get tagged or it ends up in someone's, uh, someone's page or someone's feed, they end up exploring. It's a great way of connecting people. Some of my favorite candy when I was little were nerds. I love nerds because I, I was a nerd and I thought it was really cool that they named a candy after my people. <laughs>